So there's this great analogy with English, teaching English that I've heard a number of places. Teaching English is a lot like a jigsaw puzzle where you teach this concept and that concept and each concept you're giving the students a piece of the jigsaw puzzle. The active voice, passive voice, transitive, intransitive, linking, they can't necessarily tie it in because they don't have all the pieces yet. That's especially in younger grades. Now as we get to older grades, they have more pieces and one thing that we need to be doing is helping them fit these pieces together and that way by the time they're out they hopefully have a full picture the whole jigsaw puzzle put together or at least most of it. Now the problem is if you have pieces that don't fit in yet it's going to be very easy to lose them and so that's where the challenge comes helping them to fit these pieces together before they well before they get lost. What I try to do as much as possible is fit the pieces in right away as much as I can. And so I start off with simply dividing between linking and action because that's something they've learned since you know third or fourth grade. They're already very familiar with that concept and so we can build off of that and split it down from there and hopefully they can make much more sense of it, tie it in, and they can already have that piece fit into the picture instead of just having a bunch more loose pieces. So we have Tuba sounds 
sounded loudly from the basement. This might be a little tricky. What kind of verb? This one is action. Why isn't it being? Okay, so what we have following the verb is loudly, which is an adverb, and from the basement, which is an adverb phrase. So there's no predicate adjective, word predicate nominative. So the tuba is sounding, is acting, it's doing the action. So it's simply what? Transitive or intransitive? Intransitive. And often this is where these get tricky, where we have a bunch of phrases or <coughs> adverbs after the verb. It's easy to think that they're adjectives or to pick out a nail, think of a predicate nominative, so we're receiving the action. So you have to watch out for this. But simply walk through those steps can help while well, we're trying to pick out intransitive, active, passive, linking, etc. Identifying the verb walking through those steps can help you figure out what it is supposed to be. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of different jigsaw pieces that if we can help tie them together and tie them in to what they already know, it can help them, it can help it make more sense for the students.